Okay, next. From Waterloo, Ontario, we have Swap Robotics. Presenting for Swap Robotics is founder and CEO, Tim Lichty. Come on out, Tim. Hi, everybody. I'm Tim Lichty, co-founder and CEO of Swap Robotics. And our mission is to make outdoor work equipment 100% electric. The outdoor world needs to be maintained, but there are two main problems today. Legacy equipment is gasoline and diesel powered, and there's a long-term labor shortage. To help solve these problems, we started by creating 100% electric robots for sidewalk snow plowing, and it went well. In our second year of operation, we had 12 snow robots in operation in Canada. We charged several thousand dollars per robot per month. In the summers, we were originally going to do grass cutting for sports fields, but we kept on hearing that these massive thousand plus acre utility scale solar farms were a huge headache. When we looked deeper into the problem, we learned a few things. Today, solar energy is the cheapest form of new energy. And by 2040, the world's number one power source is expected to be solar. And after a power plant is built, the biggest ongoing expense is actually cutting the vegetation and the grass on that site. When we looked at the technical perspective, we learned of a few challenges that are unique to cutting uh, solar fields. Firstly, drive lines limit typical equipment operation. The equipment needs to cut underneath panels and around the I-beams. And you need a special cutting deck to cut the thick, long vegetation uh, that exists on solar sites. A regular cutting deck just won't cut it. And so our solution, this is really fun to show, was robotic vegetation management for solar farms. But the solution is so much more long-term. We built a powerful, modular robot that can be used for not just grass cutting or snow plowing, but dozens of outdoor use cases. Let me explain how. Our, the in-house hydraulic system is built inside the robot, so it can do grass cutting and snow plowing today, but it can do dozens of use cases long-term, like street sweeping or uh, tree planting. Our quick attach system, system makes, attaching, uh, makes different attachments quick and easy. The top can be swapped. Long-term, this can enable dozens of different use cases. And batteries can be swapped in five minutes, enabling near 24-7 operation. This alone can triple monetization. The robot can hold over 1,000 pounds of load, enabling use cases that require extremely heavy loads. And getting back to solar cuts, we've developed the world's first 100% electric rough cut deck that is able to cut down extremely thick vegetation that's up to two inches in diameter. And Tony is going to hold up a, a rough cut blade and a finish cut blade just to show the difference in mass. The rough cut blade is about 10 times more mass. We also developed the world's first 100% electric offset grass cutting deck that is able to offset up to six feet to go underneath solar panels and around those I-beams. The solar world had never seen anything like this. We launched our product for solar cuts in mid-2022. And there was so much pent-up demand that within 60 days of launching, we had over $9 million in signed agreements. Not LOIs, signed agreements. So let's take a look at this robot. Going to the demo, you can see there are six emergency stop buttons. We have 360-degree cameras and other sensors. We have two-way audio, night lights, and even uh, heated windshield wipers for snow operations. And cut back to the presentation, please. By the way, there's only one other company with a product in the market for solar cuts. We've gone up against them three times since launch, and we've won every single time. Our solution is just more robust. 
So I'm the CEO. I've grown four companies from zero dollars to six figures of revenue each. We have four co-founders, three of whom are University of Waterloo graduates, and we have industry experience in autonomy, mechanical, electrical, and software engineering. This is the perfect team for an industry with exponential growth. And in fact, the global solar vegetation cuts market is expected to reach 50 billion dollars by 2040. When considering that we're building an outdoor robotics platform with dozens of use cases, the total addressable market on a 20-year perspective is north of one trillion dollars. So it's attracting some attention. And today we're thrilled to announce for the first time publicly that Solve Energy, USA's largest utility-scale solar builder, has invested in us as of last Friday. We also have investment from the largest solar vegetation cutter in Texas. So we started in snow. We graduated to solar cuts, and we're building an outdoor work robotics platform. Join us in making outdoor work equipment sustainable. We're Swap Robotics. Thank you. Everyone sees the face in the front because all I can see is a face, right? Like up top, there's the two eyes and then the nose. <laughs> no? Okay. Uh, well, we'll talk about it later, Tim.、Uh, Dave, let's start with you. First of all, wow! I mean, just amazing. It's、uh, it's so awesome to see entrepreneurs like your team build this.、Uh, and also, I grew up in Maine, so yes, a lot of、uh, a lot of snow being shoveled there. If you can talk a little bit about the unit economics, so yes, high level what this costs, and as you were talking about, maybe you're looking at monthly usage, and you guys own it. But just tell me a little bit about how you're thinking about the unit economics. Yeah, sorry, there's a bit of an echo, but I, I think I heard the overall.、Um, so the, we operate on robotics as a service,、uh, which is really convenient for the customers because they're used to already paying a cost per acre. So we try to save the customer immediately from day one, 15 to 20 percent off of their cost per acre. It makes it really easy because they don't need to learn about robotics; they just get a service that works. Whereas beforehand it was gas or diesel, now it's going electric as well. And in terms of those unit economics, because we can run them as close to 24/7 as possible, we're not there yet. But over the next one to three years, we can reach $30,000 in revenue per robot per month. Uh, without going too deep into how much the robot costs us, it's、uh, well under three months for a payback、uh, on those robots.、Yeah. Great, thank you. Thank you. And so, what does your、um, go-to-market look like? Like, how do you、yeah. sell to solar farms? And do any、yeah. of these new investments、um, introduce some strategic partnerships? Yeah, for sure. So, there's three main categories of buyers. There are solar asset owners themselves. There's what's called O and M's. So those are companies that specifically do all of the operations and maintenance、uh, after a solar site is built. And then there are also the、uh, kind of EPCs, or uh, sorry, uh, there's EPCs who build the sites. And then there's also the vegetation management cutters, so that are just exclusively doing that. We're actually taking all three routes. So we're working with the O and M's, the solar asset owners, and the vegetation cutters themselves. It gives each one gives us their own advantages.、Um, we're really excited about that relationship with Solve because, firstly, right from day one, they understood we need to work with everybody. So that includes being able to work with all competitors.、Uh, it also gives us access to hundreds of boots on the ground that their team is already, you know, they're managing hundreds of sites, and so we can really be managing these a ton. And they hate actually;、uh, they don't want to have to do the vegetation cutting. It's just really difficult because logistically. There aren't kind of national groups, and you need permissions to get on sites, and there's problems with broken panels if people aren't careful, all that kind of thing. So, robotic vegetation is very appealing in that sense. Right. Thanks. Low. Thanks for coming. Yeah, thank you. A couple of questions. First question is, how quickly can the robot learn how to cut? Is this similar to like my my iRobot at home, where you know it kind of maps out my place, and then it, it's also smart enough to know if a chair moves? Oh, shoot! A chair is there now. Is that? Yeah, for similar、sure. to how it works, or is there some setup in advance? So there's a few different ways that we can run the autonomous routes.、Uh, the first one,、uh, just really quick and easy, is、uh, teach and repeat autonomy. So we simply run the route the first time manually. It then remembers that and can repeat that.、Um, that works just fine.、Um, but if you're talking about scaling up to 100 sites that each might have two, three thousand acres, you, you don't want to do that.、Um, so we can also 
map out basically by just knowing where groups of solar arrays are. We can map that out where we've developed that software already. So it will then automatically do that without hitting those drive lines or other areas that are an issue. And then also by working with USA's largest uh, builder of solar uh, utility scale solar plants, when we know exactly where all of those I-beams are going in, then we don't even have to do that. We can just kind of import that into our overall system uh, to be able to get that started quick and easy. Cool. And just a quick follow-up. Appreciate the focus, which is important. Yes. However, maybe just your quick thoughts around the bigger vision that's possible with your technology. Absolutely. So we want to be really laser focused on getting to that first 100 million in annual recurring revenue. Uh, if we really want to create a huge platform over a 20 year perspective, that's the quickest way to actually do that, uh, to then have the budget for other use cases. So 90 plus percent of our focus is on those solar cuts. We are still working a little bit, but a lot less on the uh, winter uh, sidewalk snow plowing with some strategics that can do a thousand plus robots with us. Once we hit uh, $100,000 million in uh, ARR, then we'll explore other use cases. Thank you. Thank you. Great answer. Mandela. Yeah. Um, sorry, that was really loud. Uh, you so smoothly threw shade at your competition in your presentation. And so Thank my you. question is, <laughs> how it, that's mine. <laughs> it was smooth. Uh, you finessed that. Um, how exactly are you more robust than the competition? Like, make it plain. I was hoping you'd ask that. So, <laughs> That was I took the bait. definitely, yeah, <laughs> that was the shade. So they're using that type of a finish cut deck. Uh, in Texas, for example, you get mesquite that sometimes is an inch or two thick. It's extremely woody. If you've ever tried cutting your backyard, that's okay if it, you've cut it in the last week or two. If you cut it for six weeks, it's going to be really slow. And once you get that really thick vegetation, it's not going to do the job. So everybody who's in the industry with traditional equipment is using these rough cut blades because you need that mass to be able to cut down thick, heavy vegetation. That's already is a knockout punch, but some of the other ways that our solution is so much more robust, it has swappable uh, batteries, so we can actually be monetizing 24-7, uh, getting several times the acreage uh, that our competitor does in any one month. And then we also have 25 inch wheels, they have 14 or 15 inch wheels, they only have two, they're on swivels. There's a lot of ways that we kind of beat the competition. Awesome. And that Thanks. takes up our time. Oh. Thank you very much. Give them a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Really yeah.